Okay, so this is instructions for placing the Ghost Pirate's blueprint. So, find the blueprint, click it. Even an empty park is pretty big, so it takes a while to come up. Okay, and you want to use the um, advanced placement tool. Uh, you want to use the green one. You want to lower it until the um, the wooden planks for the floor are just above your surface. So if you have a little bit of terrain showing, you want to raise it up just a little bit more. Like so. And then click OK. Um, the queue line is pretty complex inside. So there's a specific way you want to do it to get it to turn out right. So here's what it looks like. You have regular queue path, and then you have a express pass queue path, and then you have the exit on the other side. So what we want to do here, we're going to start with a queue path. Doesn't really matter which one if you're on the ground, but uh, have everything turned off. I'm just going to pick this wooden one. You want to use uh, angle snap 90 and the smallest width. And I'm going to zoom in over the top in here. And so I'm centering it right here in this first corner here. I want to do this first. I don't want to do the main entrance of it first. I want to do this corner here and work backwards. Because um, if you have an, a path already built, it's going to try to snap to that path, so this is easier. I'm going to leave the front of it open, go back to that corner, and just with the 90 degrees, just work my way zigzag through the queue. Like 
like so. And then all the way up. And then I want to turn on the feature to allow curved slopes and then let it snap up to the entrance. And then make it look like whatever you want. So. And then I'm going to go back. I need a sidewalk out front to connect it to. So I'm going to set up, kind of center it there, and start building the sidewalk. And it keeps, notice it keeps snapping there, so I'm going to end up using a grid to do the rest. If you've already got a sidewalk there, you may have to use the control key to keep the queue line from snapping to it when you first start it out. Like so. And then go back to the queue. And I'm going to connect the queue to the entrance. I'm going to widen it um, to three meters so that it kind of fits the archway there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the exit. So I'm going to go back to the actual right exit that's elevated a little bit so we need to we're going to start there go around the corner don't worry about the curved uh, curbs just yet come out here click one more time and then i'm gonna bring that ramp down to the ground level and then let it connect to the sidewalk out front if the curbs the curved curbs bother you up here you can make a grid up there. What I, um, what easiest to do is just kind of move the wooden platform out of the way temporarily. So I'm gonna grab it, slide it over using the red direction there, and then go back to paths. Select the grid from that corner piece, and then I can just use that to kind of snap the corners to 90 degree corners. And then I'm just going to um, grab that piece and grab it here and slide it back over into place. So now the exit is done. And last thing, if you want to use the express pass, um, you want to go to the right itself. Sometimes you can click the doors here, sometimes not. You always go click the track and you want to go to the um, Cogwheel, and then you want to enable priority pass. Place priority pass entrance, and see where the little pirate lady's standing with the chained off um, queue line? That's where you want to put it. So you want to grab. There you go. The arrows are kind of in the way, but it's kind of what we get. And you go up, follow that little dog leg up, connect it there, connect the path and this kind of loop it back around, connect it to that corner there. And that is it, you are done with the path. Something else I want to show you. So there's this ghost pirate standing up next to the treasure chest inside the queue. And he actually gives kind of a pre-show spiel. So if you want to activate that, I have him turned off in the blueprint because he cycles like every 60 seconds. And you can hear it inside the ride. So I have it turned off in the blueprint. But if you want to hear what he sounds like, behind the box he's standing on, underneath the treasure chest. Back over here. You want to use the top sequencer. And that is the uh, controls the schedule for the whole uh, spiel. So you can go up to scheduler. If you want to change it, you can change it to um, looping and on trigger or continuous activation. And you play. You can hear his little spiel. It's funny to watch the peeps in the queue react to the skeletons. They all duck in horror and fear. It's pretty funny. Okay, so that is it. If you want to turn it back off, just click it again. Change the scheduler back to um, so it plays every 60 seconds several times so if you don't want it on you can change it back to trigger only so 
There you go. And that is it. That is Ghost Pirates. I hope you enjoy it. Try to get your highest score. Let me know what you get.